Hey guys, Scott, Heritage Farms, Texas. What are we doing today? Well, standing in the backyard. First off, hello guys, how are you? Hey, what are we doing? It's Thursday afternoon, it's about, uh, I don't know, 6.15 or so. Look at that, oh, there's Kimber. Hey Kimber, sit, Kimber, shake, shake. Look at this girl, look at this girl, good girl. She's learning, she's picking up. Guard dog, protecting the backyard. All right, guys, so what are we doing? Well, normally on Friday afternoons after work, we head to the farm. So, you know, during the week and the afternoons, keeping this farm project going is a chore, man. You know, there's certain things just from a purchasing and logistics standpoint that you have to do to keep things moving along. One of which is uh, we gotta have diesel. One of these days I gotta get a bigger tank, but you know, so every weekend I take down about 10 gallons of diesel and uh, for the most part that lasts us. Sometimes we have to fill up again on the weekend. Uh, for the uh, section of fence we're doing this week, I had some T-posts left over, picked up 35 T-posts, picked up seven uh, five inch uh, pressure treated wood posts. Those are some good looking posts. So I got some supplies for the project. So this weekend at the farm, uh, the weather is supposed to be pretty cool. So then other things I do. So, you know, I've got the chainsaw. I bring it back every week when I come back because I normally fill it up with oil, gas. I sharpen the blade, get it ready to go. But let's talk about this. Let's go over here and take a look at this and see what we got. Ah, here we go. So I watched a couple of videos on uh, YouTube about uh, getting ready to paint the fence. So, you know, we're making progress. We've got all these metal corner posts, that nice metal entrance. So now we're talking about what are we gonna do to paint it? Well, a lot of different things, but you know, that's rusty drill stem. And there's this company, Skyco, S-K-Y-C-O. And I've heard a lot of good stuff about this and I'm not sure how you pronounce it, but O-S-P-H-O, Ospo, Ospo, maybe that's it. Anyway, it's a real uh, liquid substance. I mean, it's almost like water in its consistency and its viscosity. What you do is you're gonna pour some of that into basically like a uh, solo cup, put your rubber gloves on, take a uh, real cheap paintbrush, and you just literally paint this on the metal pipe. And when you do that, it's gonna make the uh, rusty metal pipe, uh, it's gonna actually look like it's wet. And then it's gonna probably turn a little bit white colored over time as it basically kills the rust. So supposedly it stops the rust, prepares the rusted surface for painting. And then at that point, we'll probably come back. The next step is uh, I'm probably just gonna use an oil-based kills product, come back, put a primer coat on there. And then after that, we'll come back and put one or two coats of uh, whatever color. There's still some debate going on on what color we're gonna paint the, uh, the corner post and the entrance. It's either gonna be white, silver, or black. Those are the three options. If you guys have any uh, ideas or recommendations on your favorite, by all means, please leave us a comment. But anyway, so that's what I'm doing. It's Thursday night. I'm doing prep work, getting stuff ready to go to the farm, uh, playing ball with the dogs, getting ready to watch the uh, presidential debate. And uh, not sure which way we're leaning in the election. Ha, 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 ha have to admit we've already voted and uh i'll just be honest with you my vote pretty much follows the flagpole so you can figure that out but anyway the main thing is people vote it's your god-given right as an american vote you can't bitch about things in this world if you don't vote so uh vote and enjoy kimber what are you up to all right guys hey glory be to god uh, more to follow. We'll give you an update on the weekend. The goals this weekend is to get some T-posts set, uh, get some of the, uh, we may even dig some holes, plant our corner posts. The other thing is to get a uh, masonry string strung on where the new fence is going to go. We've got a little box blading to do. we got some supplies to buy. Look at that dog. Getting ready to go swimming here in uh, middle of October. All right, guys, more to follow this weekend. Hey, good morning, guys. Scott, Heritage Farms, Texas. Well, here we are, Sunday morning. Yesterday was uh, one of those days, man, but we got a lot accomplished. So we got all of our T posts set. We got our corner posts set. This is the uh, stretch next to what we call the hay yard. You can see we came all the way down here. 
We got our corners set. We did our final box blade, but I want you to look. We got the metal staged for the welder when he shows up, but we have got all of our t post I want you to look at the final grade on both the road side and this side. Check this out, man. Pretty proud of it. So what do we got? We got about, I don't know, 17, 1800 feet of fence that we've done or in the process of doing. We're making progress, but this section, uh, just follow up this weekend on what we have going. There's a lot happening and uh, farmers and ranchers will appreciate this. Running out of time, you can see dark, overcast. There's a cold front on the way. Man, winter is here. The grass has stopped growing. The cows are eating everything down. So I'm in a rush against time. I've got to get this fence up soon because I still have some grass in here that they could possibly eat before the fro first frost. But man, that could be right around the corner. But uh, major, major work that's been going on here to get all those T-posts set. Uh, and every one of those T-posts is the exact same height uh, we <laughs> and the exact same spacing. Everything has been worked out perfectly. Uh, you know, we cut us a piece of PVC pipe and that's what we use to make sure each T-post is uh, to the correct height. And uh, pretty happy, man. You can see what we've done previously. Uh, we came back this morning. I just got through doing the final grade on the road side. Some of this stuff I can't get perfectly close to the fence because there's still some stumps that we just couldn't get out. But uh, you know what? Get a rain, get everything settled in. I think we're looking pretty good. So uh, the plan, next, I'm hoping the welder can get here sometime this week. We can get some pipe welded. Shouldn't take them too long on just these corners and ends. And uh, if we can get everything welded, hopefully uh, next Friday or Saturday, I'm stringing bob wire. That is the plan of attack because we will string all of this in a day. All right, maybe a day and a half, but uh, that's the problem. I wanna show you another problem I have up here uh, real quickly. And that's these two big, massive stumps. So I don't know what the blade is on my chainsaw. If it's only a 16 inch or 18 inch, but my chainsaw is not big enough to get those stumps. I've went all around them. They must be down to just a couple of inches in the middle, but I cannot get those two stumps cut off. Major eyesore. You see, we went all the way down that way. And then ultimately right here where the new Holland 5060 is sitting, we'll have another entrance just like the one that we put on the other end of the property way down there hey guys glory be to god just wanted to give you an update leave me a comment hit the thumbs up you can see over here we got one more section to do so this is what we call the hay yard and what we're going to do is we got to come across from where that telephone pole is basically across here it'll be recessed have a double gate so we can get a hay trailer in there come over here right in front of the address sign and then back over there. Doesn't seem like a lot, but man, from where I've been, it's an eternity to get to this point. So uh, once again, pretty proud. Thank you guys for all your comments. You've been encouraging over the last several weeks.